Welcome to another wonderful episode of our Business Personality Show. I would say that this episode today is super inspiring because when I was putting this together, I was inspired and I was even moved to tears. You know what we do on this show? We bring you the profiles of people who are making waves, setting strengths, you know, making marks in different sectors of the economy in Nigeria. So you know, we discuss an amazing woman. She inspires me a lot because she she rose past whatever thing she was going through. I'm not going to just rush into telling you who this person is. You know what we already do here? We're going to take a break and give you time to like, share, subscribe, and tell your friends about Defect TV. And when we get back, I'll be delving into who this woman is and why she's on our show and why I'm so inspired. Stay tuned. Adenike Dasala Oyetundelawa, professionally known as Adenike Oyetunde, was born on the 5th of March 1986. She's a Nigerian media personality, radio host, author, lawyer, social media influencer, and life coach. All these career parts, one person. She's the founder of Amputee United Initiative and the Grand Student Hub. In 2001, she was appointed by the Lagos State Governor, Babatide Sawolu as a senior special assistant on persons living with disabilities. Adenike obtained a part-time job as a broadcaster with 93.3 Nigeria Info FM, which was eventually expanded to a full-time role. In no time, she began hosting a five-hour weekday show where she discussed a wide range of subjects from politics to lifestyle. Oyotunde offered free legal counsel on the radio show, although she was not practicing law at the time. She also was a regular contributor on Smoke Night 8.1 FM on their news commentary show, Freshly Ground. Now, in December 2020, she got married to her longtime boyfriend and fellow broadcast journalist, Sherry Flower, in an intimate ceremony in Lagos. Now, there's something about this woman that we're going to delve into. If you notice, she was um, awarded a role as a special assistant for people that live with disabilities. It just shows that there's something up about her. She founded the Amputees United Initiative, on which the platform which advocates for the rights of amputees and other persons living with disabilities. She also does a volunteer work with Real Foundation, a non-governmental organization that works with children who have suffered limb loss, providing them with protestic limb ops till they are about 18 years old. Now, in 2017, she gave a talk about philanthropy and the role of empathy in the human society as a Texas Babada in Lagos. In 2018, she wrote and published her self-titled autobiography, Adenike. The book has enjoyed great reviews with Business Day, Sitla Day, or Year de May, espousing its inspirational content and concluding, you will feel inspiration what over you as you read this book filled with hope. You can use it to overcome challenges and achieve fulfillment in your life. In January 2001, the Lagos State Government announced that the Governor Babajide Sano Uyu had confirmed the appointment of Adenike as Senior Special Assistant on persons living with disabilities, the recognition of her work as a program manager, ambassador, volunteer, and fundraiser on Road Foundations and Pretty United Initiative since 2018. I'm going to take a pause here to show that, considering the fact that she lost her leg when she was 20 years old to um, bone cancer, I think the fact that she did not stop or allow her situation to get the best part of her is the fact that she also used used as a platform to stand up and speak for people who have lost a leg or amputees whatever part of their body really it's the fact that she has inspired a lot of people and have made them realize that your disability shouldn't stop you for reaching or stop you from reaching for more so i'd say that if you have gone through something in life or you are going through something and you feel like you're at your peak point and you cannot deal anymore, take out time to read that autobiography that she wrote about herself and how she overcame a lot of challenges. It will, I think it will, to some great extent, inspire you and make you realize that not actually is what's holding you back. I mean, imagine losing your leg at the age of 20. I think at that point, you would have felt like maybe all hope was lost. But the fact that she rose past a lot of things and has used that particular disability as a platform to help other people going through stuff like that. I'll be drawing the curtain on this show here, but I really, really, really advise that you take out time to read this book 
and you know feel inspired get inspired it's never too late to continue dreaming so i come away next my main fortune do not forget like share subscribe tell your friends about buffet tv and if you love the work we're doing here please 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 and please repost on all the social media handles bye Thank you.